Today we will talk about uh, B2B applications of 5G. As you know, uh, B2B applications are kind of slower than the uh, B2C applications of 5G. The main reason for that is that uh, first, the requirements of uh, industries are different. Every industry is uh, different, or the companies are different, so uh, there is no form standard requirements for B2B applications. Uh, the second reason is that um, because it requires lots of IoT uh, sensors uh, and they are all different, so what you don't have too many uh, standardized IoT uh, sensors. Third is the uh, devices. Uh, you don't have the terminal devices proper to uh, match the, uh, the industry, industry's requirements for that. But um, once they begin to find uh, uh, the way how B2B uh, applications of 5G and advanced ICT could apply to improve their performance and uh, increase the uh, production, once they know that, then the demand will grow exponentially. So today I'll talk about uh, what uh, LG U Plus is doing in Korea. This is not covering all the B2B applications of 5G now, but uh, uh, applications uh, that operator in Korea is doing. There are basically three B2B applications. First one is post-pandemic and digital transformations and developing new services. Post-pandemic is the uh, situation now and uh, everybody is working very hard uh, in this pandemic environment. Uh, how to improve uh, uh, the, uh, the so-called untapped environment, uh, which should be similar to the, uh, I would say, untapped or off offline environment we used to have. Let's go to uh, post-pandemic uh, actions. The basic thing is that uh, people are working at home more than ever before. So uh, there are less people working in the company, which means uh, we are short of the uh, human resources. So short of uh, guards to patrol and delivery and uh, uh, guards to protect the uh, company and things like that. So instead of that, we use uh, more robots and drones and other technologies. Well, these are the things that the LGU Plus is doing now. It's not limited to uh, uh, just this. B2B applications would be uh, millions of that, but these are the four basic uh, LG Plus uh, is providing B2B applications of 5G. Uh, U Plus is working with 24 companies for uh, patrolling for outdoor factory sites and hospitals and delivery services. Uh, they are using more infrared cameras and obstacle detection, IoT sensors, and so on. In this way, they could uh, reduce uh, many cars and the human resources. Second thing they are working on is uh, facial recognition access control. Of course, uh, you can detect whether incoming people are your employees or not. Also. In this pandemic environment, you can check the temperature. And if it is go over some threshold, then I, you can stop him and uh, check whether they are wearing masks or not. In this way, uh, they could uh, reduce the number of people working uh, in the front, front door, front gate, and so on. Uh, four detection sensors. Uh, this is not that common, but uh, this is what U Plus is doing, is working with uh, uh, some company. Seniors do fall and uh, they get hurt and they may need uh, 
immediate uh, medical care. So uh, it could be uh, applied to uh, some hospitals and so on. Now, they don't wear any sensors to fall, when, when they fall. So uh, the, uh, the hospital is using non-wearable radar sensors to detect uh, seniors who fall you know, in, in the hospital or uh, in the corridor and so on. Shared mobility. U plus is providing uh, <coughs> smart lock for uh, shared bicycles and uh, they can check when and where those bicycles are and how much they are being used by the people, how to charge it, uh, for, for, the, for the using the bicycles and um, <coughs> this is very uh, widely used in Seoul nowadays. Well, these are four basic uh, COVID-19 actions, but uh, I'm sure there are many of them. Uh, people are working on this, uh, including uh, uh, how to measure the performance of the people who are working at home and uh, how to uh, do uh, meetings uh, more efficiently uh, with Zoom or whatever. And uh, those are the tools now uh, very rapidly uh, used anywhere in, in Korea. Uh, I think because of this coronavirus, uh, it has accelerated the, the use of advanced ICT uh, in business at least three to five years. Uh, that's true for the uh, digital transformation as well. The work environment has changed so much. And uh, we all know that uh, uh, the use of advanced ICT in uh, business would really improve the performance and uh, increase the uh, products of them. These are the four things that LG Plus is working with, uh, with the company at these days. Robotic process automation uh, that uh, automates uh, employees' operations using simple index metric calculations. Now, it can detect so many things what uh, the, the op operator's doing in the company, especially in the uh, uh, assembly lines. Chatbots, uh, these are robots who can talk. You can utilize the chatbots in the company system and the customer center. Actually, uh, thousands of people working uh, at the call center and they receive millions of calls a day and uh, I would say 90% of them are very simple questions from customers and they can be answered by these chatbots. Of course, uh, if there are some uh, difficult thing to handle, then they will switch to a uh, human operator so that they can handle more difficult situations. Big data utilization. Now, this big data utilization would be one of the key things that this trans transformation ne would need in the future. Uh, use of AI uh, to sort the uh, big data and creating new services and solving uh, pain points they have. Uh, Uplus is providing customer behavior analysis, remote sensing, and achieving new efficient customer management system. Nurturing experts. Now, the really thing you need for digital tra transformation is that the uh, education and training. The most needed education for digital transformation is training or educating the CEO actually, because he's the one who makes all the decisions whether they should go for it or not, uh, how much it will improve, how much he should invest money for that, and so on. So you have to first educate the CEO and the people who will be working for digital transformations. Uh, Uplus is working with a uh, with company and uh, they are training over 50 personnel uh, this year. Well, new services of 5G. Um, basically, 
there are five new services Uplus is working on. Yeah, Uplus is working with so many different software companies and education providing companies as well. Now, 5G network, I think, is the key infrastructure of the fourth industrial revolution. Not only B2C, but B2B as well. It gives you uh, VR and AR and um, all the uh, life-changing uh, informations and uh, educations uh, and experience they're providing. Also B2B, it gives you uh, uh, new digital transformations of company, new educations, uh, new connected car, and then so on. But 5G alone cannot do that. 5G along with the cloud system and good AI system, big data, IoT, and I think AI at the edge would give the real good information to everyone. It gives really the value on demand whenever people need. So I would say a 5G network along with this cloud AI, big data, IoT would be a new 5G system that gives you new value to the people. Thank you.